Uh, in the early 90s and 2000s, uh, the electric grid in California was going through some changes. So they went from an integrated utility to a market-based process in California. Energy prices were skyrocketing. Uh, they were very expensive for, for folks. Congestion on the transmission system was very high. And so it was allowing uh, certain generators to game the market and drive up energy costs across the, across the West. The uh, biggest problems were potential blackouts due to constriction in that area. Now when you look at Path 15, uh, in a typical year, uh, in a normal year, it was probably around $100 million in congestion that happened along Path 15. Uh, in a dry year, that can go up to around $300 million for congestion uh, because you had less hydro available in a dry year, and so as a result, you had more congestion. That particular path was highlighted and identified um, in a DOE study, which helped to also bolster the prospect of us building it. The goal was to provide more transmission. Um, to to enhance the flow of power in California. Um, big population centers in the north and south, and Path 15 was meant to address that discrepancy. WAPA's proposal was to build a 500 kV line, reinforce it with um, additional carrying capacity, and uh, by providing that 83-mile run between Los Banos and Gates substations, the secretary actually directed WAPA to construct that Path 15 upgrade. Uh, and so we went through that process of uh, looking at how to construct it in the most efficient manner. But as part of the construction of Path 15, we had to ensure there was a federal interest associated with that. And so we maintained a 10% uh, right to the transmission capacity on Path 15. We put out a federal register notice soliciting interest from private entities uh, to participate with WAPA in the construction of Path 15. We set fairly tight time frames because we wanted to make sure that this line was constructed uh, in, in an expeditious fashion. Eventually, we kind of ended up with WAPA, PG&E, and Transelect uh, moving forward with the construction. And WAPA did the actual construction uh, of the transmission line, PG&E did the upgrades of the substation, and Transelect uh, s supplied a m a m the majority of the funding associated with the line. We were able to pull together all of those parties and find the way and a structure and a framework to, to expand and build big transmission uh, in the West. You had that common interest, and uh, this public-private partnership was a great way to enhance the transmission grid. WAPA had the ability to help design and construct and uh, use outside contractors to build the line. They did so in a monumental fashion by building a, constructing that line $50 million under budget in 15 months. Well, for Path 15, obviously, uh, you got rid of $300 million of congestion in a dry year and $100 million of congestion annually by building this transmission line. And when you look at the project itself, it was estimated to be around $300 million when we started. We actually came in under budget. Uh, and uh, so when you look at the cost of building Path 15 versus the benefits of alleviating the congestion for Path 15, uh, you know, it's a transmission line that pays for itself within a few years. It's allowed for much more transfers between Southern California and Northern California and vice versa uh, because of that relief of the congestion. By having that uh, additional capacity in the areas from north to south, the way that it was built, it reduced the bottlenecks that we were seeing back in the 90s and 2000s. That inherently provided us with a more uh, robust system that was resilient to outages. Over the past 20 years, we've been looking at the maintenance records for Path 15. Overall, the path has been engineered as designed, uh, constructed as designed, and it's been performing as designed. We're very happy with its performance. The results showed that it was successful. Um, and, uh, you know, I think everybody came away with a real high level of satisfaction that this public-private partnership was a great way to enhance the transmission grid. Building transmission, especially high voltage transmission in California, is very difficult. Um, you have the problem of right-of-way, you have the problem of environmental issues. Uh, and having a public-private partnership like something between the federal government and the state or the federal government and some private entities really helps, especially on upfront getting the land and getting the environmental work done so you can actually get the, the transmission line permitted. I think Path 15 gave us a great framework 
and experience. We learned a lot from that. Very successful partnership. Uh, the success of PATH 15 really spurned our transmission infrastructure program, bringing private sector to the table and all of the expertise that we have throughout WAPA to get transmission built in the West. I want, to, I want to congratulate all of the groups that were a part of PATH 15 for their efforts that they performed in order to create PATH 15, in order to get PATH 15 to where it's at. PATH 15 has been a success for 20 years and I look forward to hearing more about PATH 15's success in the future.